to Connecticut to fight. This is their second time at Norwalk Havoc. And it's made out of uh, aluminum, right? (laughs) Titanium! Oh, Oh, titanium! Right, 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 right. Now I get it. But it looks like Sloppy Seconds, its mini-bot, has uh, taken the fight straight to Ty. Ty has not yet exited the pink square. Yeah, it's just been dealing with this onslaught of hits. Pretty effective uh, uh, strategy here from Sloppy Seconds. High center tie and bring in the main bot to uh, try to tear apart this this robot. But with titanium, uh, you know, all over Ty's body, Ty can take a hit. Yeah, absolutely. It looks like the horizontal on Ty is down. Sloppy Seconds is a team all the way from Atlanta. Ooh, that's a good pin. That yeah, really is. Oh, and the weapon on Ty is back. Wow, big hit. Yeah, that weapon on Ty is no joke. It looks like Ty has ripped off one of the forks from Sloppy Seconds. Yeah. Quite frankly, they're lucky that's what absorbed the impact. I mean, that thing is pushing out some damage right now. Ooh, good hit. Yeah, this fight's really turned around in the last, what, 20 seconds? Ty got that weapon back up and working and was telling everybody else how this fight's gonna go. Oh, and it looks like Sloppy Seconds is stuck on its head. It's doing the thing. It's doing the thing. Can its multibot come over to help? Oh. Oh, no! Teamwork makes the dream work. It is an interesting idea having your minibot be uh, an active wedge like this because you kind of get additional, like, as many unsticks as you need. Wow, but Dylan is just staying right on top of Sloppy Seconds and racking up damage points. I am so impressed with 45 Ah. seconds left in this fight that... uh, A tie hat. That, uh, that Dylan's weapon is, uh, is, is running for as long as, uh, as, as it has. And that weapon is still going. 30 seconds left. Yeah, it looks like Sloppy Seconds is not moving, referee. Oh! Wow! Big hits! And now Kyle, what do you think? Sloppy Seconds is dead here. It yeah. hasn't moved for 25 seconds. What no, is going on inside of this cage? It's a little bit confusing because the quote-unquote minibot is, is bigger, actually, Four, than the real bot. Three, so two, I can see the confusion, one. Wow. That is the match. All right. Good so job. Good. Go to the judges. That was a super destructive so. match. All right. Hey, judge friends. How are you guys doing? Good to see you. How you doing? Okay. All right, we're going to go starting with you, Diana. Tell us what you thought about that fight. Oh, boy. Ty uh, versus Sloppy that Seconds. A, uh, <laughs> that was a really good fight. Um, but I think I'm going to have to give it to Ty. Showed a lot really good. Got a lot. And so I'm going to go with Ty. Fair enough. All right, we've got one vote for Ty. Don, I mean, what are your thoughts on that? Sorry. Yeah, sloppy seconds. They did a really good job in the beginning, getting a couple pins on Ty. Yeah. Um, but Ty just dismantled the. I'm guessing it was was a 50-50 split with the the multibot. Uh, just dismantled the vert, and at the end, the the wedge just didn't really keep on him a yeah. lot. So I'm gonna go Ty. And Jack, as a uh, prolific wedgeman yourself, what were your thoughts on that fight? Yeah, I also have to give it to Ty. Once the Bert had taken some kind of damage, it just seemed to be struggling. And even though they had a good couple of pins on Ty, they could really capitalize on it with any decent hits. So yeah. I have to give it to Ty. Agreed. All right, so that's a unanimous judge's decision for Ty. They will be moving on into the winner's bracket. So happy to see that team doing well here, traveling all the way out.